Hey there everyone, welcome to the out of control killer cyborg that is Zozo Plays Elite. So apologies first for my absence, but I'm back and I'm ready to go. We've got a bumper, bumper, that's right, bumper episode today. So we're going to RR in and we're going to get those burgers finally after all these weeks. I'm not going to put up the planetary information because I don't want to spoil the surprise. But it is a poor agricultural, so I thought for a change, because it's been a while, it's supposed to be a trading game after all. Let's let's buy some of those. Computers. And, oh, we've got radioactives. Um, well, I'm going to get rid of those. But we don't want to sell those. Right then. So here's where we're going. Oh no, did I no no Did I no one saw that, did they? No one saw that. R R in. This should be a famous world, I feel. I've seen a few lists of planets you should visit in the elite universe, but I've not seen R R in on the list. Personally, it should be top of the list, I think. I think I may have hyped these burgers slightly too much, possibly. Maybe. So this is multi-government here. This, that's sort of in the middle of the list. So I'm not expecting too much activity. But after the incoherency of last episode, I started to say a lot of things and didn't finish the sentences. So the name of the um, NetHack-like sci-fi game was Approaching Infinity. I'll put a link in the description. Like I say, it was it was all right, but it, they wanted full price for it, full price game. Um, maybe if it was a fiver on Steam or good old games or something like that, then I might have gone for it. But not not whatever it was, thirty forty pounds. Just no, not when you can play NetHack for free. That's right, NetHack's free, you can go and play it now. Go play it now. Go download it. Oof. Not a bit happy with the cannons there. I got ya, I got ya, I got ya. Awesome. Enjoyed that one. Also, the MMO that I mentioned that I was playing. Uh, it's called Dragon... Dragon, Dragon Nest, not Dragon's Nest, Dragon Nest, there's just one dragon, one nest, that's pretty good, it's got sort of anime stylings, as I was saying, um, don't play a lot of MMOs, but it's quite, it was quite fun, of course it's free to play, so it's just populated with, you know, kids running around so didn't actually get to do any quests with anyone I was soloing it can we get that cargo canister where did he go the cargo canister is more evasive than the ships where is it there it is it's one of those new cloaking Cargo canisters. Ah, oh, awesome. Brilliant. Actura and Megaweed should smoke that before we get to the space station to avoid the criminal rating. Although I'm not sure the aircon on the Cobra would cope with that too well. I we're not getting enough fights here, are we? We can't we haven't earned the burgers. Can't find the sun. Let's just jump away this way. Oh yeah, I do like those ones where you kind of, you get the feeling that you're stabbing the fire button. Satisfaction. Jamming the A key through the keyboard there. See, Elite's got weird keyboard controls, like inverted the S and X 
uh, pitch up, pitch down with A to fire and then the um, greater than, less than is the roll and question mark is de decelerate, space is accelerate. So it's a bit of a weird, a bit of a weird key, keyboard layout, but it's, it feels good. A lot of those old games, they used to use Z and X. You remember that? For left and right. Those were the days. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's an adder, isn't it? I can feel it. I can feel the the bile rising in my stomach. Yep, the bile was right. I'll stop toying with him, Zorzo. There we go. Um, one of the other... Th I've actually played Dragon's Nest. Dragon Nest. <sighs> See, haven't actually played that recently because I've been caught up with playing... Um, Fantastic game, Divinity Original Sin by Larian Studios. Great co-op game. Been playing that with the wife. We've not, not really played many of these old kind of RPG, Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 2, those kind of RPGs. Not really played much of those kind of things, so we're always on the lookout for good co-op games. And... Uh, Divinity Original Sin has really ticked the box. God knows how many hours we've ploughed into that. And uh, also I've been caught up with uh, the old Pokemon. I don't know if we've got any other Pokemon trainers out there. But uh, Zorzo is a diehard Pokemon trainer. I have only got four Pokemon left to get to complete the Pokedex to catch them all. Probably got about 600 hours on the clock on the Pokemon. <laughs> so if you're a Pokemon trainer and you're a, and you watch Zozo plays videos, let me know. We'll exchange friend codes, trade some Pokemon, have a battle. Do enjoy the Pokemon. Pokemon. Not po Pokemon, po Pokemon. Oh, this guy's not a Pokemon fan. Ah, there we go. He's he's gone up in flames. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Bring it. Don't know what that was, but it's dead now. Oh, hello. Welcome. Let's get rid of him quick. Oh dear. Wow. That's the front shield's gone. Did we get him? Wow, is that stuff crashing into us? We're going to have to run. We've got no shields. How exciting. Thargoids turning up. This is probably um, a good time to say hello to a new subscriber, new viewer. BGC tubing. I'm assuming all the way from New Zealand. So, hello there, BGC tubing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for leaving comments. Welcome. We'll find a quiet corner of the cargo bay of the Radiant Silver Gun. We'll bung you down a sleeping mat. Welcome aboard. I don't know what I'm saying. Don't listen to me. 
too many demons. And we all know the only the only way to to be a demon is to is to be a demon. So, you know, I'm gonna take control of my demon and use my demon to kill other demons in some kind of weird anime plot thing. By the way, if you muted the video for the last last minute or so, that was probably a good idea. I mean, so these purple guys, they're not shooting, are they? Is this what's locking in the... Um, um, is this what's mass locking us, maybe? Get rid of him. Does that help? I can smell the burgers. Can you smell that, guys? The wafting from the out of the space station docking port. Interestingly, I read somewhere that um, astronauts reported that space smells like um, uncooked steak. So that's interesting. I'm I'm pretty sure they didn't just open the visor of the space helmet while they were in space. You know, sort of. What's that smell like? Mm, it smells like cheese. However, I think it was when they got back in the spacecraft and they were getting out of the spacesuits. The spacesuits smelled like, you know, beef flavored crisps or something. Can we can we jump yet? We're ma we're mass locked people, so you're going to have to listen to this inane rambling. What are we mass locked by, though? That's what's confusing me. Is there a, th a thaglet stuck to the side of the ship that we didn't notice? Maybe we can ask these guys if they can see anything. Wow. Relaxed and groovy is the way to fly in Elite. You need to just breathe, breathe through the pirates. That That's the t-shirt right there. And on the back, no survivors. Oh, that's not so good. That's going to be an overheat. But he's not getting away, you're not getting away. Oh, yeah. I radioed ahead, or whatever the space equivalent is, I told them. Four burgers, please. I can reveal they're called FM burgers. I'll just leave that hanging, let your imagination run away with you. FM burgers, what, what could that stand for? So as soon as we get there, it's, it's burger time, boys. I might, I might get a double FM burger. Double FM burgers all around. One for O'Connor. Yeah. One for BGC. One for David. HT. We'll get the burgers in, guys. And uh, ice cold milk all around. Although I'm not sure milk and burgers. Is a best combination in the world. Oh, and I just I just need to slip in in this moment of silence. No one has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. That's that's just for anybody else who's played Divinity: Original Sin. It's a good game. It's worth looking at. Oh, he let his um, skate pod out there, didn't he? That's good. I like that. But that means his ship is just out of control. Yeah, we want to get that before it gets too far away. Look like an asp, and they're, they're faster than us. You're not going anywhere. So everybody together, 
No survivors. Right, so I think now, hopefully, if all goes to plan, it should just be a leisurely cruise down toward the planet. Oh no, no, this guy begs to differ. Did we get that missile? What was that? What was that? Oh, was it just a ship? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this. Oh well, that that's not too bad. Oh, saw the space station s flash up then briefly. This is not gonna be another one of those lost space station jobs, is it? I haven't had one of those in a while. Not a fan of the broken compass. Nice. Been watching a few uh, more Elite Dangerous videos and um, a, a Kona one-ups um, gallivanting around the galaxy Elite videos and oh, I do very much enjoy it but I can have to take a break. I can watch one and then I start to feel like oh this game looks so awesome. I've got to play this and then reality kicks in and it's stop watching the Elite Dangerous videos. It's like some kind of torture. If you Elite Dangerous torture. <laughs> if such a thing. More, it's more of a mental anguish than torture. And I think with that asteroid destruction there, um, given the length of the video so far, I'm going to accelerate time now and hopefully I won't get attacked again and I'll see you inside the space station and um, we'll get them burgers in. So I'll see, I'll see you in, when we're nice and warm and cozy in the Kevin Spacey station. So welcome back, we're inside and in the moment has come and here we go then, RR in, home of the fabulous monkey burgers, that's right, monkey burgers prepared by small slimy lizards, I like to think that that, that fabulous, because they're made of human, that's right, <laughs> I actually think that they get the humans from Ansosis, human colonials, and they serve them up as fabulous monkey burgers. So double double FM burgers all round, guys. Were, I'm I'm assuming it'll taste a bit like chicken, but who knows? Uh, okay, so that was worth it. <laughs> let's let's sell let's sell all this, and we need to get some fuel. There we go. And I suppose um, we need to, I need to come up with, we, I, I need to, oh, feel free to suggest in the comments if you want, um, another plan. But for now, here's the, oh, look at, did you see, oh, we made a killing on those computers. Wow. Nice. Um, so there we go. There's the kill rundown. Uh, I don't know what you think of the new kill rundown format. I don't know if you're liking that. Um, no one said anything, so I'm going to assume that it's either okay or it's just meh. Um, and um, yeah, it's raining outside, but I feel slightly sunny today. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to try and get back to the old uh, schedule, schedule, uh, whichever side of the the ocean you're on. Um, I don't know. I've lost my train of thought now. 
yeah, back to the normal pattern, which is um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and uh, hopefully Fridays for Elite, and Tuesdays, Thursdays for some net hackage, although uh, I haven't filmed any net hack, and it looks like maybe might be doing something slightly different with the net hack, so nudge nudge, wink wink, and um, so look out for that. I've also got another got the outtakes video that I'm still working on and I've got a literal trailer uh, not, not literal trailer literal um, opening that I want to do so I've got lots to do and I'm so I'm going to try and buckle down and focus on getting these videos done for you guys I did notice that we got to 40 subscribers briefly and then now we drop then we drop down to 39 and then we've lost another one so I'm managing to shed subscribers let's see if we can get that number in the minuses guys <laughs> anyway thanks for watching take care guys and i'll see you later bye